kitchen is back. Today our recipe is alu parotha or parotha stuffed with potato fillings. Let's start. Here I have two red chilies cut into small pieces with some ginger. Now we will grind it and turn it into a paste. Add a little bit of water. Our chili ginger paste is ready. Next, I have here about three to four medium sized boiled potatoes. Cut it into pieces and now we are going to mash it. Okay, so we can see that our potatoes are fully mashed. Okay, next we will do some frying. First, we will add about two tablespoons of oil. Once the oil has heated up, we will add in asafoetida. But this is optional. If you don't have this, it's okay. okay. Next, we will straight away put in mustard seeds. About one and a half tablespoon. And let the mustard seeds crackle. So our must we can see our mustard seeds are crackling. I will add in some cumin seeds. Cumin seeds about one teaspoon. And we will straight away add in shallots. Here I'm using about five to six shallots. I have cut into small pieces. We will fry the shallot till it turns into golden brown. Here I have about 4 cloves of garlic which I have chopped finely and we will fry it together with the onions. Now I will add in the chili ginger paste which we blended just now. Okay, now I'm going to add in 1 tablespoon of chili powder and about 1 teaspoon of curry powder and we will mix well. Okay, next we will add in half teaspoon of turmeric powder and we will stir for about 10 seconds. The mashed potatoes next. Turn the flame to low. Okay, now that we have mixed well, next I will add in salt to taste and about one tablespoon of lemon juice. Then we stir well. Just turn it to a circular motion. Last but not least, I will add in about half teaspoon of sugar to balance the tangy sour taste from the lemon. And we will stir. Next, our fillings for the alu paratha is ready. You can turn off the fire. We will take it out in a bowl and we will leave it to cool down thoroughly before we start making the alu paratha. And now we will make paratha. I have here atta flour or you can even use 
plain flour if you don't have the atta flour we will add in salt to taste some oil next we will mix well okay before we add water to make, turn it into a dough, I just raise and drop the flour from top just to trap some air. So, the paratha will be fluffy and soft. Next, we will add in water. Make sure the dough is not too soft and not too hard, just medium. Add water little by little. Okay, look at the dough, look at the texture of the dough, okay, we need the dough for a few seconds, we add in a little bit of oil, power it, we need it again. this aside for about 10 minutes this is our dough after 10 minutes I will knead it again softly so we will take the dough roll it and take about one fist and a little bit extra okay roll it and keep aside take one bowl then we will press deep in the flour it's the same flour that we use to make the dough and then we will roll it not too thin just like the paratha Okay, so we are done. Look at the thickness. Not too thin. Okay, so we are done with our paratha base. Now, I will take the potato filling. Fill half, of, half the side of the pastry. Okay, and then we will fold it into half press a little bit at the end okay, carry it slowly and then this is what we are going to do we are going to make some plates press push inside press push inside press push inside continue so we are done with the plates now I will show you another way to fold this. Okay, you take some fillings. Fill it in the middle. Take a little bit extra. Okay. We will fold the sides. Okay, first roll. Fold the sides. Press, fold the sides, press, and we will roll just like that. So this filling, this method is very easy to bring on the go. If you are traveling anywhere, you can just put it in a Tupperware or you just wrap it with aluminium foil. So we are done with our alu paratha. Now we will grill it on the hot plate. So our hot plate is ready. Put in one of the 
put another one too because I have space here. Apply some butter at the side. I'm using a non-stick cut plate. Use medium high fire. Then we will leave it until it turns a dark brown. Press a little bit. Now you can see that the prata is cooked. Both sides. Look at that. Nice color. Crispy. And now, just to make sure this part, we have to hold it and make it stand. So it will cook them. Uh, put together. You can see both sides here is cooked. Okay, so it's done. We will take it out. So guys, we are done with our alu paratha. Look at the cross section. Look at the peelings of the alu paratha. And the paratha itself, it is cooked very well. Okay, and soft. Right. So now I will dig in. Hmm. You can taste all the spices. It has blended very well with the potato peeling. And the pastry is also very well. And let's dig with chili garlic chutney or dip. Hmm. It tastes even better. For the chili garlic chutney or dip, I will link in the description box below the recipe. And you have to try this guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And turn on the post notification button. Till then, Busy Kitchen says, bye-bye.